Welcome back to another review. I thought I'd make a quick one on the Caden N2 Canvas camera bag. I picked this up myself about a year ago uh, just because I wanted a smaller bag where I could take less equipment but still carry a few items and I didn't want to bring the larger bag that I have. Now on the screen I've put the measurements and I've taken these myself. There's a bit of flexibility obviously because the bag itself can move a bit so take them as a sort of approximation but it should give you an idea of the overall size of the bag. You have the two pockets, you can see me zipping them up at the front. These are concealed pockets so you can fit things like cables, batteries and a smaller filter into those. They're quite handy because you can get to them even when the bag is shut. On the back we have a handle and that is leather and we have the strap there with the velcro back. I don't really use that myself but you could attach items to it if you wanted to. On the front section we have more leather straps. It's not the thickest leather but I haven't had any problems with it. And this is a traditional buckle design as opposed to the magnets. The disadvantage is it's going to be a bit slower to uh, do it up. On the other hand, the magnetic bags that I've looked at, the closing, sometimes the magnets come off and sometimes the straps can come open when you don't want them to. So that was something that I was looking for. It was more secure. Now the uh, shoulder strap is quite long and it is adjustable, but it's fixed to the bag. So you can't take that off. It's sewn in on the sides. It's a decent thickness, I haven't had any problems using that, I find it quite comfortable and you can adjust it up and down so you can have it quite low down if you want or bring it up sort of chest height too. Now unzipping the front, again we've got leather tab on the zip end. This section is quite useful for holding items like memory cards or batteries, you could put a torch in there. So you have two larger sections and two smaller ones. Now we have a double zip on the top. So you can position it around, just makes it a bit easier to open. Once you open that up, you see all the lining here. Now everything here is waterproof. I've never had a problem of water getting in and I've been caught in showers a few times with the bag. And this part here can be completely removed out of the bag. And we shall have a look at that in a second. At the, uh, around the sides, you'll notice there isn't any padding on this and there isn't on the bottom. So the only padding is the back part here and this has a Velcro faster on it too. Now you can put something like a tablet in there, a phone, uh, possibly a book, small book, something like that, or additionally filters, things like that. And um, I don't really use that much myself, but it's handy there. You could maybe squeeze a charger in if it wasn't too big. Now the main section that comes out, this is fully padded and I've put the size up for that as well. This is the area that's designed to house the camera or a lens, padding all around front, back, bottom and all the sides. And you can also have that carry handle on the top and a zip closing. Now when you open this up there is a section which has a fold over part and that's padded too. You can take that out or leave it attached to the velcro points here. I tend to leave it there because I usually put something like um, maybe a small flash gun or a slimmer lens so I can fit into the side. It really depends on the size of your camera. Now with this I have a A77 camera which is fairly big for a uh, mid-size DSLR so if you have a Nikon or Canon, uh, similar models, they'll be um, roughly around the same sort of size as this, possibly a little bit smaller. I know the D7000s are a bit smaller than this. So this wouldn't be a bag which is designed for a big large pro camera but you can fit a fairly decent sized camera in here. So you have a few options with this, you can put it on the side like that really depends how wide the camera is but I usually have it just facing down. You have padding on the bottom so that will protect the lens. You also got enough space where I can fit a small prime in on the side. But what I sometimes do is put a flash gun in there. Now I've changed over to a different body. This is the A57 which is a bit smaller. It's not as wide and that's a easy to fit in. Both of these cameras fit in perfectly fine with a normal lens. I have a Tamron 17-50 on the first camera and I have a Tokina 11-16 on that one. So you can fit a reasonable size lens on there, obviously not a huge lens, um, hence some of the full frame cameras might be a bit on the big side for this bag but you'd still be able to get them in depending on the lens. I've put a Tamron 90mm macro lens down the side part there. So that gives me two lenses 
just in that section and I'm able to zip that up quite nicely without any problems. You can also put the strap down the side. So I haven't found size an issue. Obviously you're not going to fit big zoom lenses in this case. It's designed for sort of standard lenses. You can get uh, shorter telephotos in there. And once you put it into the main bag, you'll notice that you have a part on the side spare. So what I normally do with that is sometimes put a flash gun. It's a normal full size flash gun in on the side. But you have a lot of different configurations and choices with this. Um, for example, you could stick your charger and spare batteries down there, or you could stick another lens down there. Just bear in mind that the outer part isn't padded. So what I would do sometimes if I have a lens which isn't too big, I have some of those neoprene cases and I'll just leave the lens in the neoprene case and then put it down that side part. One area I do like with the bag is once you've got that part zipped up, when you put the front flap, it's not essential to shut that up and I sometimes leave that open so I can get quick access to the stuff inside because you've got that extra zip there which stops the stuff falling out. That was a major factor really for me because I've had a few bags just a single top closing and if you drop it or knock it over then and you haven't shut it up stuff could fall out obviously we don't want that and I found the handle to be okay but it works best as a shoulder bag you've just got a single handle on that so a few thoughts on this if I compare it to a couple of my other cases this is the Tamrac one for a single camera and lens obviously this bag holds more but compared to my main size bag hold significantly less I can get just about two bodies in that and quite a few lenses but I didn't want to take a whole bunch of stuff with me for day trips out and this is where this bag came in for me I find it quite useful there isn't really a one fits all camera bag out there I mean sometimes the big bag I want to take because I need access to a lot of stuff and other times I just need a camera and a few extra bits this is the bag that I will be using the only point that I would say with the camera bag on the Caden I would have liked if the outer part was padded even a light padding on that so just watch it if you're putting a lens in next to it um, try and put it in a neoprene uh, protective case or just be careful with the bag in case you knock it because the main compartment is padded and that isn't so that's really the only part that I would change about the bag I'm actually pretty happy with this and it was a decent enough price as well so thanks for watching the video and do let me know what you think if you've tried the Caden camera bag and I will catch up with you very shortly in my next video